when do you start the design work in the schematic and when do you start it in the layout there's no easy answer to that question sometimes it makes sense to start in the schematic while other times you're better off in the layout each design situation is unique a common problem is physical constraints which can make life very hard for you as a designer sometimes it's much easier to start in the layout figuring out how to partition and lay out your circuit the design can later be moved from the layout environment to the schematic in ADS for further simulations and optimizations. This demo will show a simple example where we got a board outline from our mechanical engineer and we'll try to fit our circuit into that given space. First we import our board outline from a DXF file. On this board we have the input down here to the left. The output is located up here to the right. We'll try to squeeze in our attenuator in the area up here so that we save some room for a notch filter that we want to place here at the later stage. We also have a bias coming in from our feed through up here. Let's start and lay out the pi attenuator. I'll pick a resistor from our SMT library. In this example we want the shunt resistors to be 511 ohms, which I can pick prior to placing the resistor. I can use the crosshairs to line up the components. For the serious resistor I can use my crosshair to line it up with the output. Then I need a DC block capacitor, which I also can line up with the output, and an RF choke inductor. I can rotate it using Ctrl R on the keyboard to check out in which direction it fits best before I place it. Now we got all our lumped components placed, and it's time to add the solder pads and wires. For the solder pads I'm going to use an M-LIN since it's easy to control the width and the length. Placing them is easy since they snap to the component pins. Then use a trace to create the solder pad for the bias. connect the pad to the inductor. Next I'm going to connect all the resistors with the 50 ohm line width. Finally connect the input of the board to the attenuator using a rounded bend with a radius of 4 millimeters. Now we have a layout that fits nicely on our board. So let's go ahead and create a schematic from this layout. First we select everything. Then we convert the traces to microstrip lines. ADS does not automatically insert step in widths, but we can fix that later in the schematic if we want to. Now we can create the schematic from the layout. And here we have the schematic that was automatically generated. Now we can continue our work in the schematic side of ADS, where we can add things, simulate, and optimize the circuit as we wish. To create this schematic from scratch in the schematic side of ADS would have taken much longer time. 
The key point to remember is to choose the right design environment for each situation. You're not limited to just one environment. Different parts of the design can be done in different environments. Thanks for watching this demo and we hope you're successful with your future designs.